Hi there. In this video, we'll learn about the visualization of translocal production function. We have quite a bit of idea of what translocal production function is. We have done various treatments of it, but now we will see that how its diagram looks like. So we have an estimated translocal production function. The output is a function of labor and capital in their linear forms, as you can see, and also in their quadratic forms. And the function is also dependent upon the interaction effects of labor and capital in their logarithmic forms. So these are various terms of this estimated cross law production function. And now we will plot it in a diagram, in a graph, in a 3D graph to see that how it looks like. We are expecting that it is going to give rise to a surface because we have three variables, output, labor, and capital. So it will be a 3D diagram and it will give rise to a surface and not a line or any 2D shape and it is going to like, look like uh, other production functions. Let us see how it appears. So here we are, we have plotted this and you can see that it's a surface and has a 3D uh, orientation. And this is the output, this is labor and this is capital. So now let's rotate it a little bit and see that how it looks like. You can see that it's a surface and it's a, a curved surface. So it is going to give rise to um, isoquants that are having a certain curve. So it's close to somewhere uh, called Douglas orientation uh, because neither it is a flat surface nor it is uh, so making a uh, vertex. So it is basically uh, close to a Douglas sort of uh, um, production surface. Now we can focus on it by uh, removing the out, uh, outer frames. Now we can see it in a different way. Counterclockwise rotation as well. So now it's even better. Now I can do another thing that I can uh, make a net of it so that it becomes uh, clear from another angle. So you see uh, it's having that curved shape and if we extract the isoquants from it, it is going to give rise to uh, the uh, isoquants that are having uh, a curved shape. So this is how it looks like. It, it's nothing uh, drastically different from the other production functions that we have studied like Cobb-Douglas or CES or VES production functions. It's quite similar to those. So I hope you have learned from it and you have seen the translog in a 3D diagram. Uh, you may subscribe to this channel. If you have learned from this video, you can like it. You may also click the bell icon so that you continue receiving such rarely found material on YouTube. Thanks for watching.